Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cucumbers in Aero Garden Harvest. This variety is called a quick snack and I got the seeds from Seeds and Search. I know it is little weird to say that I am growing cucumbers in small hydroponic systems like Aero Garden Harvest, but I got lots of success with the Isni cucumber variety in Aero Garden Harvest and many small other hydroponic systems. With that, I am taking a chance and giving this cucumber variety in the Aero Garden Harvest first. If I cannot manage the plants in small hydroponic systems like Aero Garden Harvest, I know that I can take a few cuttings from the existing plant and start them in bigger Aero Gardens like Aero Garden Bounty Basic or anything even bigger. Let's see if I can success here. It's very simple. Anyway, I cannot grow more than one plant in any hydroponic system. So I'm just starting with one pod and I will place just one seed. I got a lot of success from any seed variety that I bought from Seeds and Search. So I'm just placing one seed in this pod. If this don't survive and if the seed give up, I will just replace the seed. I just don't want to waste the seeds. That's it. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been five days. The seed germinated successfully and the seedling is coming very nice. Now that I see the seedling, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use aerogoda nutrients throughout this grow cycle and I will start with the recommended dosage which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle that comes every 14 days. As the plants grow big and started producing flowers and fruits, I will bump up the nutrition. I will probably increase to 5 ml, maybe 6 ml. We'll discuss as the plant make the progress. But for now, it is just standard feeding which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle. It's been 13 days. The seedling is coming nice. I see lots of new development, new leaves and new growth. This is really nice so far. It's day 17. Now this plant is showing very good progress. It was looking pretty weak earlier, but now it's picking up the growth and showing very, very healthy signs. It's day 23. The plant is doing excellent. Look at this wonderful growth. I also see a couple of side branches showing up. That's really nice. And even better thing is, I see the baby flowers showing up. They're too small. Let me just zoom in. Look at this. They are female flowers as I can see the baby cucumber showing up. That's really wonderful. It's day 28. The plant is doing great. It has the main stem growing really tall. It has reached about 10 inches. It looks very difficult to manage it in harvest, but let's see. Now these flower birds are clearly visible. Look at all these flower birds. These are all female flower birds. As we can see, cucumber at the back. That's really nice. But this is expected. This is a parthenocorpic variety. So I don't expect any male flowers. So this is all coming as I expected. Let's see how will it go from this point. It's day 33. The plant is growing excellent. Look at all these flower boards. There are multiple flower boards at every node and all these are female flower boards. Look at these. All these flower boards have baby cucumbers. So these are all female flowers. And uh, this plant is coming up with lots of side growth. There are so many branches and uh, they are getting taller. The older leaves are getting really gigantic and uh, some of them also drying up. They are aging out. So I'm going to remove some of these older and bigger leaves so that the younger growth get some light and the plant also have some airflow. Normally, if I'm growing this plant in bounty or farm models, which are bigger models, I'm going to let it grow however it wants to grow. But I'm growing it in a very small garden, which is Aero Garden Harvest. So I really need to control the growth of this plant. Now I'm going to cut the tips of these vines so that I can control the growth of this plant. 
At the same time, the plant also have enough energy to focus on developing these cucumbers. If the plant continue to grow, the plant needs to distribute a lot of energy throughout the growth that is going to degrade the productivity. So I'm going to cut the tips so that I can control the growth of the plant and it can focus on developing the cucumbers. These baby cucumbers are very close to blooming. So it is right time to cut the tip of this main vine. I think once I cut the tip of the main vine, the side branches also start growing taller. I'm going to repeat the same process on the side branches as well. As they grow about a feet and they have a four to five baby cucumbers on the vines, I'm going to cut the tips. That way I can control the growth and the plant can focus on the cucumbers. And when I cut the tip of the vines, I'm going to cut a little bit longer and I'm going to take this cutting and clone it so that I can grow another plant. I have spider former here. It is ready to go. So I'm going to take the cutting and put it into spider former so that I can have two plants growing at the same time and I may get more cucumbers. It's day 36. Look at this. Here is the first flower and here are two more flowers. It's not just stopping there. Look at all these flower boards. They are very close to bloom and there are many of them. Oh, there are actually more flowers here. Wow. This is an excellent progress so far. It is just a day 36 and there are so many flowers. Let's see how many of these will survive. It's day 42. The plant is doing excellent and it is still producing lots of flower birds. And all these are female flower birds. See, they are still coming up. The plant is not stopping anywhere. But I don't see the good development of any baby cucumbers. They are just hanging there. Look at this baby cucumber. It is too small, just hanging there. So I have no hopes on these kind of baby cucumbers. But I see little bit of development. These are comparatively a little bit better. I'm getting a feeling that this plant has so many flower boards and it is struggling to distribute the energy or it is struggling to focus on development of cucumbers. There are only very few cucumbers that are showing little bit of progress, but most of them are just hanging there. So I'm sure they are going to die pretty soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these cucumbers which are showing a little bit of progress and remove all the old and very small baby cucumbers that are just hanging there. Hopefully that is going to help this plant focus on development of cucumbers on these little bit of bigger ones. I'm still seeing lots of side growth. Look at this branch. It is pretty big. It is getting tall and there is one in the back. In fact, there are two in the back. So the plant is still getting bushy. It is still producing lots of side growth. It's just that it is not able to focus on the development of cucumbers. So removing some of these old and stunted cucumbers is going to help. Let's see. It's day 46. I am finally seeing good progress on uh, three cucumbers. One is here and one is here and one more showing up here. That's really good. It's day 51. The plant is doing excellent and the cucumbers are growing very nice. There are three cucumbers at the moment. Looks like this one is matured enough. I don't think quick snack can grow any bigger than this. I'm going to observe it for two more days and if I don't see any further progress, I'm going to harvest it. And these are other young or close to mature cucumbers. The plant is doing good. It is getting bushy, producing lots of flowers, but I don't see any progress on any of these baby cucumbers. This is kind of expected because the plant already has three cucumbers and it is focusing more on developing these cucumbers. However, as soon as I harvest these cucumbers, I am sure some of these baby cucumbers are going to pick up the growth. So far so good. It's day 54. The cucumber is not growing anymore. So it is time to harvest it. 
and these young cucumbers also coming very nice i don't know i can still call them young cucumbers they look like very matured but anyway i'm going to start with one cucumber i will harvest it now and probably harvest the remaining tomorrow and day after it's day 56 this cucumber is not growing anymore so it's time to harvest it the other one also reached to pretty much same size so they are also ready to harvest if i want to but i'm going to start with just one today these cucumbers deserve the name quick snack we can just harvest it and just snack them up let's give it a taste test wow very tasty very juicy and nice flesh very good I really like the taste yep very nice very authentic cucumber taste I love it it's day 57 and it's time to harvest another cucumber wow how cute it is it's day 62 the third cucumber is ready i'm going to harvest it now looks like a few cucumbers are surviving here and they are showing good progress there are lots of baby cucumbers but they are not showing uh, that good progress now that i harvested the cucumber the matured cucumber from the plant some of them are going to survive actually i see one cucumber here this one is showing good progress so now that i harvested all the matured cucumbers from this plant there will be a lot more cucumbers come, coming it's day 67 i see two more cucumbers look at this young cucumber coming very nice and here is one more this is almost ready to harvest of course it can grow a little big but if i want i can harvest it i think uh, that's it at the moment so this is all going good and i don't think there is anything new from this point i wanted to know if i can grow this variety in aero garden harvest and it is working very well i think from now on it is just a matter of harvesting the cucumbers and the plants will continue to come up with uh, more cucumbers by the way i almost stopped uh, following the nutrition reminder on the aero garden every time when i refill the water i'm simply adding uh, 5 ml of aero garden nutrients for every one liter of water and uh, refilling the bowl so that's working out very well i think uh, that's pretty much working very well for any cucumber variety and i'm going to stick to that all right that is all for now thanks for watching and happy aero gardening